Hello! Today we are reviewing, slash taking a look at, that would have been a better phrase, this Common Rider 01 DX authorized buster. I remembered the name. I didn't need to look at it. So we have a nice picture of uh, 01 uh, shining assault hopper right next to <laughs> assault. Does it just work? The name is right there, Vulcan. I think it's Assault Vulcan. I can't actually, I don't actually remember if they've named his uh, Assault Wolf form. If it's Assault Vulcan. Assault Wolf or whatever. With a picture of the toy right here. In, its, in both of its modes. There's another picture of Commander Vulcan right there. Zero One right there. On the back, same thing, and all the stuff you can do with it, right there. Sad Pac-Man, I can't actually see the screen through the toy, right there. Ooh. What? I forgot to turn it off. Here is the authorized buster after I put batteries in it. And here's its gun mode. It's actually a fairly substantial gun mode. It's a lot bigger than most toy guns you'll find. Given it has to be like the the in-show prop is hilariously gigantic, so it ends up even... Here's a size comparison to the uh, Legacy Blade Blaster. This is supposed to be one-to-one -one scale, and this is longer than it, although at a different angle. But still... Just for a sense of size. On one side, we have a gold strike going down. Um, like, I, I get why the blue bits are here to call back to Vulcan, but I feel like maybe they should have released it in all black. I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of curious if I would have preferred the uh, single... the solitary color version. On the back, a little bit of yellow. Not much else besides the button right down there. Well, there are two buttons. We'll talk about that. On this side, you do get a little bit of red right there. And a little bit of silver on the blades. Silver on the barrel. And silver at the uh, butt end. Uh, turn it on. Authorized Buster. Authorized Buster. Authorized Buster. If you uh, switch to Axe Mode and turn it on. Oh, the button for Axe Mode is actually in the barrel. Which took me a bit to figure out. Authorized Buster. Nope, doesn't change the sound at all. The other button to switch the handle is right here. It's not very much of a change, but I don't mind. And if you flip it to axe mode, you get a giant grasshopper on what kind of looks like a stop sign. And that's really funny to me. But even as an axe, like, I know the show prop is giant, but even this looks big enough to be, like, a small hand axe. Like, this must be gigantic in a little five-year-old's hand. It, it feels like an a appropriate size of an axe in my hand. And I classified it as an adult. So, 
Turn the sounds on. Shooting sound. The uh, speaker is right here, by the way. You can rapid fire. You don't get anything if you hold it down. Nope, nothing you hold it down. And also, there is lots of molded in detail if you care to look at it. Hatch mode, so transform. Nope. It says, uh, it'll say Axe Rise. Then. Axe Sounds. Again, you don't get anything for holding it down. And unfortunately, the strike looks a bit awkward because it's now on two different sides. I understand with the grasshopper motif, but you could also, if you want to, shoot like this, but it feels a bit more natural to shoot with an angled barrel. Although, yes, thank you. Although proper weapons don't actually, like, if you ever look at a proper gun, it is more straight down than angled. Although, you can also axe somebody like this. If you don't know why you want to, but... Also, why are you wanting to axe somebody in the first place? What's wrong with you? I mean, unless they're threatening all of humanity, then that is your, the only time you're allowed to axe a fool a question. Let me ask you a question. Is today a good day to die? So, although zero, no, zero, 001, I don't think you... Hmm, I can't even remember if he actually used it as an axe. Because he, he, he used it like once, and then immediately gave it to Vulcan. But... We do have some Hisatsu action. Some final attack action. We have a variety of attack actions, actually. Attack-tually. All involving progress keys. And this does not have a progress key scanner in it. So it doesn't matter what progress key you use. I'm just using uh, Rising Hopper just because. I also have that in here for obvious reasons. So first one you can do is just simply scanning the progress key. It, well, I say it doesn't have a scanner. It does. But it only, like, it's a limit here. It doesn't scan and detect the individual progress keys. But frankly, no toy actually does. So. You get Buster authorized. And there's no progression of the sound. It's just. You get the you get the first final attack, progress dust. Well, turning something into dust, so it makes sense. And here's why I like this uh, as a toy. It actively involve uh, integrates the play pattern. So if you scan, oh, cool. First, you you can get another final attack by just inserting the progress key like this. Or actually, it's uh, I think it's like this. So you have to hold it. And flip it up. And if that's not a callback to Go Busters, I don't know what is. So you get a, a different sound for a Buster Dust. And this black button right here, it's how you, because uh, the progress keys are locked in there. You have to press this button down to pull it out. So you can also scan and then load a progress key. So if I scan. You get a different waiting noise.
and the sounds actually scale on top of each other. So it was Pro Grid Buster Dust with a different sound, which I really like the fact that you progressively make the attack stronger. And then uh, I don't think it. You can scan. The other thing I like actively involves the play patterns. You can actually scan this with the zero and one driver and get a different attack. And you get a zero one dust. And you can also, for the, the biggest attack, uh, you could scan it, but it's not going to add anything, so I'm just going to do it anyway. But insert. And you get a zero one buster dust. It's awesome. And you do the same for act mode. So we can have we have a progression of attacks for the axe mode. Yep, you get a different attack, a Progrise Bomber. Insert. And you get that sound. Well, I'm not 100% sure, I'm pretty sure it not only changes the name from Dust to Bomber, but also probably changes the actual sound associated with the final attack. What? Oh. I think I, oh, I accidentally hit the trigger. So you get the sa the same progression. See, just scanning it, like just scanning the progress key and the belt, doesn't change the sound, unfortunately. And you can't scan it multiple times. No, it doesn't. But it also doesn't activate with the progress key. It doesn't it doesn't activate the Terra impact. But that's pretty much everything with this toy. And it's uh, it's probably, in my opinion, the best uh, weapon toy in Zero One. Ignore that. I'll just show you that what progress key you have doesn't change the sound. It doesn't activate the progress key at all. But, so here's why I went with this one and why I recommend this one over for almost uh, every other zero one weapon because it actively 
uh, what's the word? It want it integrates with the play pattern. So integrates with the progress key multiple different ways. Integrates with the belt and has has two different types of attack sound with with the dual modes. So with the attaché weapons, uh, I don't. The reason I didn't pick them up is because you really only have one sound and then one like. Well, <laughs> yeah, you pretty much just have one final attack. You can charge it by closing the weapon and opening it back up, but they they feel kind of limited, or like just by looking at them. And even though I don't have any experience with them, watching reviews of them, they seem limited. And this one, I feel like it has a few more options between the two modes and the five different attacks for each mode. So you get one scanning, insert, scanning and insert, and then... Yeah, five attacks. So you have ten different final attacks between the two modes. That is a lot of variety, in my opinion. Reminds me of like the uh, the Hino you know, Hinoa Dai Dai DJ Ju, the uh, the DJ gun, in terms of just how many different uh, sound effects and final attacks you can get out of it. The only other one I think that does that in the zero and one line. I also the battery pack is right there in the handle. It takes three AAA batteries. The little, the little button there is the uh, Progress Hopper blade, I believe, because it's the only other one that you can actually uh, scan with the driver to activate a different final attack. But even then, to get the most out of most sounds out of that weapon, you need one of the uh, the uh, attaché blade, I believe it's called. I think that's the, is that its name? Are they, because they're Kaban, because their final attacks are Kaban slash one, I think it's the attache weapons. But yeah, this one, you get tons of variety out of not having to, and tons of variety with only having to buy one toy. And you get two modes that are quick, quick to change between distinct enough sounds and a variety of final attacks that integrate the fun of the progress keys. So, if you're if you're looking at the zero one uh, weapon toys, and you only want to pick out one, I recommend this one, even though it was a short lived weapon. It, it deserves to get more time than it was given on screen. So thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Um, I don't have any other Zero One reviews planned for now. Just nothing really else is getting released. Zero One is coming to its end. It's kind of sad. I've really enjoyed the, the toy line. It's, it's the only, I think this is the only year I've actively kept up with the toy line while the show was releasing. Every other toy so like I think of, I may get one or two things while the show is releasing, but I tend to get stuff after, but zero one. I'm I've been actively involved concurrently with well, not exactly when toys release, but while they're still in the collective consciousness and still on the screen available to look, watch at, so watch, watch at, oh, whatever. And yeah, there are some things the. Uh, like some other spare drivers I might get, but I don't think we're going to be doing any more consistent zero one reviews. They're going to be a lot more sporadic. So until next time, keep it weird. You better keep it weird or I'm going to shoot you. No way, I shouldn't threaten. Bye.